Welcome back to this month's episode of Learn to Burn with Practical Machinists. Uh, we are going to decide today um, if five axis machining can eliminate the need for EDM. Today's topic, we're going to discuss five axis machining and how that's going to affect how we do our EDM burning. And can we do five axis good enough to eliminate the need for, for EDM? Um, and also, most shops all try and reduce the amount of EDM in the shop because it's, it's less expensive if you can avoid it and it's typically faster. Um, and we're gonna explore that today. We're to this trode machine and our Makino cutting electrodes right now. And our goal is to decide if, um, if we can truly eliminate some of this EDM work, there's a lot of time and effort that can be saved. And we're gonna explore a new machine that we have. It's gonna be our second five axis. And we're utilizing this to build plastic injection molds. And we'll start to explore whether we can eliminate the EDM or not. We have one five axis machine, this is our Makino, and we're able to do this small, smaller details on all five sides. It helps a ton with our processing, our throughput, and this actually goes into the EDM as well on our uh, sunspot holders. Um, now that we've got our second five axis, just came in two weeks ago, uh, we're excited to play with it, but it is a larger envelope for us and it's gonna help us do some of the larger blocks that we have. Uh, one, of the, one of the size bigger blocks that we can do will be this size block, and this is not a great example, but it can, it can machine all five sides in one setup. Here's an example we'll of the size difference that we're going to on our, our new 5-axis. This is a, the smaller 5-axis, our, our F5 Makino, and then this size block, these two blocks here, will be able to fit in our new YCM. All right, this so. is the new YCM RX65, uh, full, full 5-axis, uh, trunnion-style machine with our new Kurt Vice. Uh, and we will be able to do much larger blocks in here than we've been doing. And this will save on a lot of the setups that we're doing in our three axis machines. So we're excited to get into it and also eliminate more or reduce the amount of our EDM burning. With five axis machining, we're definitely gonna be able to reduce the amount of uh, EDM that's necessary. In some cases, we can totally eliminate it. And that's what our goal is. Most shops want to reduce that amount of EDM um, to as minimal as possible, if not totally gone. Um, if we're not able to completely eliminate it, we're gonna discuss today how we can combine both five axis and EDM to m get a larger through, uh, throughput through your shop and increase your efficiency and accuracy. In this instance, we're gonna show the ability to cut as far as we can in this little area kind of difficult to see but this is a, a tiny rib that's got to go pretty deep and there's no way to get a cutter you can see it over here a little bit where it's got to try to squeeze in here and getting a, a long cutter to go down that far will just whip into the sides so this is the area where we have to burn and here's what the shape is going to be that we put into that area on this particular job it's got a, a couple deep ribs and sharp corners at the very bottom, which you cannot do on a five axis or uh, even on three axis. Where sinker is really what you need to use. We're sitting here with Brandon and we're showing that electrode I was just showing you um, out on the floor. And this is the area, if you zoom in on these features, you can see um, that it's sharp corners and there's no way to make that cuttable. So that's why electrodes are, are needed in this instance. This is an example of a job that we're able to eliminate the EDM burning, and we're gonna be doing these in our Makino 5-axis, but I wanna show you on the CAD what it will look like and why it would need to, it, it appear to look like it needs to be EDM'd, which would require a lot of electrodes and um, some interesting programming in the EDM, but we're gonna be able to eliminate that with our 5-axis cutting. All right, so here we have the um, steel block out there that we're going to be looking at why we think we need to, to EDM this. If you look right here in this corner it looks like a sharp edge on this part and this is an internal core for a round kind of a cap 
part. And right here, it appears that we need to EDM that. Well, our customer actually would like us to break the edge of that part so we can have a small radius in there. So typically, in a th three axis condition, you would be machining from the top, coming all the way down, and you would really couldn't get this undercut feature that's in here for one. So naturally, you would have to put it on a fixture and machine it like this, like this, and keep rotating it around until you have it. So for us, we're going to put it on a five axis pallet on our uh, Sunspot and 3R setup. And we're going to machine this in the Makino to have a really small, like 10 thousandths radius inside this corner. And that will now eliminate the need for our EDM process, which we could have made electrodes and burn that in there as well. But not having to make the ch electrodes, the setup, and burn them, we're going to save uh, quite a lot of time and money. So this is a good application to eliminate uh, EDM with 5 axis. All right, so here's where we're showing, this is just a simulation of using a small cutter with a 5 axis machine or Rapino to eliminate the need to, to EDM this part or this detail of the mold. So we are, um, in this case, we're able to eliminate EDM and just simply by using a five axis uh, machine and undercut, putting an undercut in there and this will save us time and accuracy with the multi-step, multi-setups in one. Starting off at zero tolerance, when I did not have wire EDM, we outsourced all our wire EDM work. Um, I'm curious to know uh, what our viewers think or how they've dealt with the with issues where they absolutely needed to have wire or sinker work or even five axis work and they didn't have that, that equipment accessible for them. Um, if it was something that you outsourced or um, did you come up with another solution that solved the problem, whether it be an insert or um, something else creative. This electro is one that is absolutely necessary for a very specific uh, burn application that there is no way we could do this process in a with a five axis. Other than making the electrodes, which, which some people do have five axis machines that cut electrodes, um, we, we do not. We have three axis and we have uh, an angled setup to be able to cut it on four sides. But as you can see, this electrode is doing a very unique burn and we are going to be able to see this underwater. As you can see, this is not a simple electrode and there was no good way for us to really measure this. So um, it took a long time to burn and the way we did it was running a test piece with two, two halves so that we could split it apart and take a look at the finish and also the dimensions of this burn, which was a very critical part of a mold that we were building. Here we actually had the electrode cut in half as well as the part, so we were able to make sure it was doing what it was supposed to be doing. We were very uh, impressed how well it worked and um, the finishes that we got. One of the tricky parts about this burn was the sharp little corners that we were trying to achieve. Um, with some of the features in this trode, we couldn't get them totally sharp, but the best way we could do it was actually have it screw down to the location and then actually orbited um, like with a 2,000th overburn to give us a very minimal 2,000 to 5,000 radius inside those sharp areas, which ends up being very good um, for the end result so that's actually what the part will look like is what the self trode looks like so this is a very good um, 
example of something very complex and able to achieve in a sinker EDM. Burning this part in two halves allowed us to uh, inspect this on our keyons so that we could really see the dimensions that we were trying to achieve before we put it in the real material. So this is a really good example of when you need to make the decision between what to cut and what to burn. Five axis machines are great, they got a lot of capabilities. However, this is definitely something that is going to need to be burned. As you can see here, this was our helix electrode that you can see in other parts of the videos, except now you get a close-up look. The test block we did here is exactly the same burn that we had in the video, but we divided it in half so you can actually have a closer look at what's really going on. Now we also wire EDM'd out the middle slug because this electrode is hollow, so it left a stud there and you couldn't see. So we wired that off just so you could actually see inside the cut. Now obviously this is not a five axis deal. This is where you do have to start burning, especially because this is a C axis burn in Z also. Same thing as if you're doing a thread electrode, the old school way. We were able to create this electrode on one of our three axis machines. However, a five axis would be the ideal situation for an electrode like this. And as I also explained, how we remove this center core from here so that we could get a better look. This is what it was before we removed that center core. So this is even more of a demonstration of how impossible it is to get in there with any other means except for Sinker EDM. Thank you for joining us for our episode of Learn to Burn, where we are not gonna be able to live without our five axis or our EDM with the work that we do here. Again, if you like what we, we have, we're hoping that something that we showed you has helped you in some way. And remember to subscribe and like. Appreciate it. Thank you. We're going to cover whether we're going to have to... Let's start again. <laughs> Thanks for joining us here at Zero Dollars. <laughs> Utilizing both technologies. Go learn to burn.